It's been a while since you felt truly good, energetic, motivated, incredible. You sit and you think back, you remember the good old days where you did feel all of that, where you felt good. There are things that I have done that I will tell you that have helped me feel incredible again. Whether you want to listen to them or not, that's up to you. But here are the seven things that I did that made me feel incredible. Positive thinking. Just simply becoming a little bit more aware of your negative self-talk is enough for you to actually squash that negative self-talk. For example, when I was in the gym with my gym buddy and uh, you know, it was me on the bench, I was doing a certain way and I didn't believe that I could do more and he told me, no, you can do more. You can 100% do more. This is an easy way for you. Stop believing that you can't. I genuinely believed that I couldn't and then he doubled the weight. And I didn't do it for a PR. I was doing it for reps. I didn't realize that he was right because I kept believing in this self-negative talk that I wasn't strong, that I wasn't strong enough. Just becoming a little bit more aware is enough to squash those negative self-conversations you have. Exercise. Literally anything first thing in the morning, any sort of exercise, it could be 20 push-ups, it could be a light walk or a light jog outside, anything is good. This is something that I do and it makes me feel incredible. It's usually 20 push-ups or something. The moment I get out of bed, it feels amazing. I don't really need to explain like why exercise is good. It's like meditation. We all kind of know that it's good. It's just that a lot of us don't do it. But I will give a rundown of the benefits anyway. You'll feel more confident in yourself. You also tend to feel a lot better and exercise almost forces you to have a positive thinking getting yourself hyped to get ready to do some sort of exercise. You've just ran five minutes longer. That feels great. And then that leads on to the next thing that is progress. When you are exercising or when you are genuinely trying to improve in something, the progress that you make is incredible. It feels great. You know, you're doing 20 push-ups every morning and then one day, a week later, you can do 25, you can do 30. That little tiny bit of progress feels amazing single tasking multitasking is not real i have many people who have said including myself i used to say that i'm a multitasker that i can do all these different things at once but in reality all the things i was doing none of the information was going into my head i may have been watching a netflix film as i was editing or reading and to be honest i couldn't really focus entirely on either although i believe that i was a multitasker multitasking isn't real and for one, it's far more effective just to focus on one thing. Also, a lot less stressful. It is stressful trying to do seven things at once. The one goal. Focus on one goal that you have. This is by far way more effective. And you actually make genuine progress. I want to become more physically healthy, but I also want to become a swimming athlete and I also want to become an engineer if you try all of these things at once you'll probably end up not going anywhere in any of that focus on one goal at a time I want to become physically more healthy and focus on it it's the best way to actually make genuine progress eliminate non-essentials so essential is basically all the important things in your life now to focus on the essential we need a lot of time because we fill up our days with a lot of non-essentials, things that don't matter, things that aren't important in our life. Eliminate all the non-essentials in your life and really focus on the things that are the essential, the most important things in your life. My day is filled up with waking up, you know, meditating, gratitude journaling, and then I'll go in to straight into like work, something like this. I'll then go gym, I'll then go skate, and then I'll go do my job as well, like in, I work in town or something. And then that's it. But I used to do all this extra random stuff, like binge watching Netflix for majority of the day. Get rid of all the non-essentials because you need time to focus on the essentials. And also, this simplifies your day. There's way, way less clutter for your mind and also way less stressful. Kindness. 
simply interact or smile at as many people as you can. Simply just try and interact with as many people as you can. You'll be realizing how little we do this. It's normal for when you're on a one-on-one, -on -one, you and one other person in an elevator, that you take out your phone and you'll start pretending that you're doing something on your phone instead of socially interacting because that thought is terrifying. As little as smiling at someone that you walk across on the street. We don't even do enough of that. And despite the benefits being so great, you can literally make, if you walk across 10 people on this path on the same street as you, and you smile at every single one, probably nine out of 10 will smile back and they will feel good. They will feel positive and you feel positive because you've just made nine people happy in an instant just from you smiling at them. And the last one, daily routine. You may be struggling to build on these good habits in life, you know, you want to do more exercise, you want to think more positive things, you want to meditate, gratitude journal, there are so many positive things that you want to get into, the good habits. That is where daily routine comes into play. You see, the best time to focus on building new habits is the morning and the evening. These are both the times that we remember most, the mornings when we start our day and the evening is the conclusion, the end of our day. These are the two things where we remember the most. So these are the two points in your day that you need to focus and dedicate time to, to building new good habits. It's the most reliable routine. You know, in the morning when you wake up, make it the time where you do some positive thinking, where you'll do some meditation, or you'll do the exercise, you know. Early morning, a light jog or 20 push-ups. And then the evening, you start reading more mindful books, books to help you understand business better, books to help you understand meditation better, how to be more positive. The morning and the evening are the best times to focus on habits that you want to build, the good habits. It also gives you a great sense of routine. And the moment you get into a routine, you're way more likely to stick to it. These are things that I did throughout the past two years that have really helped me feel incredible, made me feel a lot better. Whether you want to take this advice, it's up to you. I'm not a therapist. I'm not got like a degree in this. This is just stuff that a dude, an Asian guy has done to help turn his life around. But if this did help you out, another video will pop up in the corner and I'd be appreciative if you clicked on that because that video could also help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Come on, give it some premium kiss.